In the annals of American history, few stories are as harrowing and tragic as that of George Stinney Jr., a 14-year-old African-American boy from Alcolu, South Carolina. Stinney's execution in 1944 marked him as the youngest person to be executed in the United States in the 20th century, and his case remains a poignant reminder of racial injustice and the failures of the legal system. George Stinney Jr. was born on October 21, 1929, in Pinewood, South Carolina, a small town in the rural South during the era of Jim Crow laws. George was one of five children in a family struggling to make ends meet in a segregated society rife with racial discrimination. On March 23, 1944, the bodies of two young white girls, Betty June Binnaker, 11, and Mary Emma Thames, 7, were discovered in a ditch in Alcolu. The girls had been brutally beaten to death. Witnesses claimed they had seen George and his sister, M talking to the girls the day they went missing. This flimsy connection was enough for law enforcement to arrest George Stinney Jr. shortly after the discovery of the bodies. George's trial was a farce of justice. The court-appointed defense attorney did little to defend him, and no witnesses were called on his behalf. The trial lasted less than three hours and the all-white jury deliberated for just ten minutes before delivering a guilty verdict. George was sentenced to death by electrocution. The trial was marred by a lack of evidence, coercion, and a blatant disregard for due process. George was interrogated without his parents or an attorney present, and it is widely believed that his confession was coerced. Despite these glaring issues, the conviction stood, and the date for his execution was set. On June 16, 1944, George Stinney Jr. was executed in the electric chair at the South Carolina State Penitentiary. Standing at just 5 feet 1 inch and weighing 95 pounds, George was so small that the adult-sized straps could not hold him properly, and the mask used during the execution was too large for his face. The image of this young boy being led to his death left an indelible mark on all who witnessed it. For decades, George Stinney's case remained a dark symbol of racial injustice. In 2014, 70 years after his execution, George Stinney Jr. was exonerated by Circuit Court Judge Carmen Mullen. The judge concluded that Stinney's conviction was a great and fundamental injustice highlighting the lack of a fair trial and the overwhelming evidence that his confession had been coerced. George Stinney Jr. case is a stark reminder of the deep-seated racial prejudices that permeated the American legal system and society. His wrongful execution has been cited in discussions about juvenile justice, the death penalty, and systemic racism. The exoneration, although a significant step, came far too late to bring true justice for George Stinney Jr. and his family.